Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this simple logical equation. We are asked to solve the equation 2x minus 3 root x minus 5 equal to 0. Alright let's get started. First of all let us take this term to the other side. So we have 2x minus 5 to the left and this is equal to positive 3 root x to the other side. Next we are going to square both sides. We take the left hand side we square that we also square the other side you know it won't change anything so to expand the left hand side you take the first time you square that you get 4x squared then 2 times 2x will give us 4x and 4x times negative 5 will give us negative 20x then negative 5 squared is 25 we move to the other side 3 squared is 9 our root x squared is just x now we are free to bring this one in so this is 4x squared minus 20x as this comes to the other side it becomes negative 9x then plus 25 the whole of this equal to 0 this is 4x squared minus 20 minus 9 is minus 29x plus 25 equals 0 this is a quadratic equation that can be factorized so let us multiply the leading coefficient with the constant term if we do that we're going to get 100 let me write it aside 4 multiplied by 25 this is equal to 100 then think of two numbers you can multiply to get 100 but when you add them together you get the middle term which is negative 29 and the numbers are negative 25 and negative 4. Alright. So we have negative 25 and negative 4. But remember the leading coefficient is not 1. So you follow and divide all of them by that leading coefficient. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. Set them to be equal to 0. Now it implies either this factor or this factor equal to 0. So the first one x must be equal to positive 25 divided by 4. Or the second one, you know 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we have x minus 1 which implies x equal to positive 1. So these are our solutions but we are going to test in the main equation to see whether they are going to satisfy or not. Let me just copy the equation. So here is our equation. Let's test for x equal to 25 divided by 4, which is the first value here. So we have 2 multiplied by 25 divided by 4 minus 3 multiplied by the square root of 25 divided by 4 minus 5. Will this give us 0? That's the question. All right. 2 can go into 4 exactly 2 times. So we have 25 divided by 4. 2 right the minus 3 multiplied by square root of 25 is 5 and square root of 4 is 2 then minus 5 the whole of this equal to 0 question mark 3 times 5 is 15 so we have 25 minus 15 divided by 2 if you combine the two fractions then we have minus 5 is this equal to 0 25 minus 15 is equal to 10 so we have 10 divided by 2 minus 5 is this the same thing as 0 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 5 minus 5 is 0 hence 0 equal to 0 which implies that x equal to 25 divided by 4 is a solution now let us check for x equal to 1 and see whether it is going to satisfy or not so when x equal to 1 we have our equation as 2x minus 3 root x, 2x minus 3 root x, is it minus 5? Yes, minus 5. Is this the same thing as 0? 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 times square root of 1 is 1 times 3 is still 3, minus 5. Will this give us 0? Minus 5 minus 5 is minus 10 the whole of this is minus 10 equal to 0 never therefore x equal to 1 is not a solution we are going to discard this solution and what do we consider this 
an extraneous solution, right? Extraneous. It is an extraneous solution and hence we are going to consider only x equal to 25 divided by 4 as our valid solution. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.